All right, next story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's keep on the pre-order debacle uh, train here. The PS5 was a disaster as well. We talked about that last week. And PlayStation actually issued an apology for how much of a mess it was, uh, posting the following tweet on uh, September 19th. They said, let's be honest. PS5 pre-orders could have been a lot smoother. We truly apologize for that. Over the next few days, we will release more PS5 consoles for pre-orders. Retailers will share more details and more PS5s will be available through the end of the year. Um, no, no, no one's getting this right, guys. Surprise, surprise. No one's getting the two pieces of hottest technology coming out this year, the pre-orders for it, right? I mean, I think it's it's like Cody said of the last story though. Like, there's no there's no way to do this well. <laughs> it's I mean, anyone who's gone to college and had to register for classes online knows <laughs> that when everyone tries to cram through the same digital door, it just doesn't work well. Yeah, well, it, the, the mess is going to become even bigger when they start to ship these consoles out and. Because PlayStation already is sending out emails telling people when their estimated delivery time is, and there's reports that some of them are as late as December, so several weeks after the console's supposed to launch, and the shit's really going to hit the fan when people don't have their you know, $500 box on the day it's supposed to come out. Yeah. 